And this little buffer here that's left, you can already see the trees are not gonna stay here. Logging companies are harvesting trees in those muskeg areas that we are trying to protect. And that is an issue because those areas are frequented by woodland caribou and they're endangered species. So what we basically found out, the Saskatchewan government spent a lot of time and effort developing a caribou range management plan, but the recommendations in that plan are not being followed. And one of the issues there is um, that the woodland caribou need about 65% of undisturbed habitat to have a 60% chance of survival. And um, so they have set some areas aside, uh, they call them tier one caribou habitat areas aside where there's no logging happening for the next 20 years. But these areas need to be connected. If they're not connected, then the caribou can't move in between those areas. And our hope is that we can um, talk with government and industry um, to look at corridor, corridors, connectivity areas between those caribou habitat areas and kind of um, make a make an effort to seriously um, protect woodland caribou. And I don't think that's going to happen, which is basically a death sentence for the woodland caribou in the, in the commercial timber zone area. And uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's the bad news. And, and we're asking ourselves, why, why do they come to the musk eggs to harvest these air areas in the musk eggs? The trees are very small, they're jack pine, kind of jack pine islands, the caribou go there to calf, but also other, you know, wildlife uses it, like the um, common nighthawk is on the um, threatened species list. They like to nest in there, owls go in there. So, um, yeah, it's again looking at the whole ecosystem. And when we ask why, why do, why do you have to cut these trees in the muskets? They're so small. Uh, why don't you go and harvest trees that you cut 80 years ago? Because that's, you know, their reasoning. It's going to be sustainable. Um, <laughs> their reply was the gov Saskatchewan government replied, Oh, we just like to spread it out a bit, which, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's not really an argument to me. Yeah, and when we kind of looked into it, you know, we said, well, we were kind of worried about um, the situation and runoff from those clear cuts because there's no buffer zones to the to the musk eggs. Um, the trees are cut, right cut down to the edges. And we've seen how those musk eggs have changed with the clear cuts, the water runoffs. And it turns out they haven't even asked a hydrologist to look at these plants. So there's a really big, big gap in in the science um, that supports the industry in the endeavors to, to clear cut the forests.